All right, guys, well, I'm down at the range with a car. And in movies and in TV shows all the time, you see car chases or bank robbery scenes where bullets are being shot at cars and they're ricocheting off and they're not going through and everybody in the car survives. I mean, man, what, are cars bulletproof? I personally don't think so. Today, we're actually going to be shooting at this car with 9mm 5.56 and 7.62x39 to see how bulletproof they really are. I'm not going to be shooting at the engine block or the wheel wells, something that actually might provide real cover. I'm just going to be showing that I think some of those movies are BS when they're hitting off the doors and things. I'm pretty sure it's going to go right through. So I'm going to shoot at one door panel and see if it goes all the way through to the other door panel. Let's try it and see if it actually works or if those movies are onto something. I don't think they are, but this should be a fun video. I want to give a huge shout out to SurplusAmmo.com for sponsoring this video and donating ammo to the channel. Without SurplusAmmo.com's help, I mean it would be really difficult to continue to produce videos at such a rapid pace. So if you're looking for some high value ammo, go check out SurplusAmmo.com. First up, 380 at 7 yards. So it was a little low, it hit the door and the lower panel, and then we came in here and we actually found both of the rounds laying inside the car, and one actually ricocheted off the bottom right here. So it looks like, I mean, I don't know, it provides some reasonable protection against 380. Let's try the 9mm and see if we can repeat the results. Next up, 9mm. I'm going to try to shoot a little bit higher on the door panel. It looks like one got through the door and one must have hit something in like the door mechanism. Then we have a hole right here in the door. I'm going to go check the other side. So here is the other side. So one 9mm made it through and then we were looking on the other side of the car. And it actually looks like you can see the jacket. I'll try to focus in of the round wedged into the door. So it looks like it hit the locking mechanism on the window. So actually i'm surprised that this car one went straight through both sides and one actually got wedged into the car next up 556 five, out of this ar-15 here's our entry holes both went right through the car is actually smoking i don't know if you can see that And then there are the two exit holes. It started keyholing through the car, so it came out sideways. Yeah, I don't think, uh, busted up the door panel, knocked out the holder. That is flying through there. Next up, the AK. I forgot the mag back at the house, so I'm gonna have to load these guys one at a time, so bear with me. This one's got a lot more power than the AR. Let's see what it does. I see stuff blowing out the side of the car. Let's go check it out. Here are our two hits. Right through, no problem whatsoever. Shrapnel pieces all along the car seat. Again, the door is smoking from where it like melted the plastic. That is really cool. And no problem, it made it right through. Looks like again, it started keyholing. <laughs> and there it is. That is really awesome. It hit the ground over here and kind of buried itself into the dirt. So still traveling with a ton of momentum through that car. So that is pretty cool. So after further inspection of the door, we actually found one of the 9mm wedged inside the door where it hit some support material inside the door, a little bit stronger steel. So overall, both 380s stopped inside the car and one of the 9mm. So it looks like actually an older 90s car with the right kind of luck could actually stop a handgun and maybe protect you a little bit. But something like this AR-15, well, one from Alpha Shooting Sports or like that AK-47 from PSA, it cuts right through this thing like butter. The car provides absolutely no protection whatsoever. 
So that is a pretty cool result if you're relying on just the actual car structure and not the wheel wells or the engine. It doesn't provide really any protection for rifles and, I don't know, a little bit for pistols. So I hope you guys like this video. And if you have, please check out my other ones and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.